There's no defensive wards coming through from NIP in the jungle. Minot's actually going forward. He wants Loda. They're baiting this out. This could be huge for Alliance. They might turn this around. He just has enough mana if he tread swaps again using the Sable Concoction. Dream Coral onto three. There's the Illusion Rope. Now the TP coming through. Loda will get away. The Waiting Rift will not do enough damage. There's the cast. It's going to bounce to a couple of creeps as well. x is rotated in. Sonic Red's going to go. He phase shifts, but he does take the damage. There's the Scream of Pain. And that is first blood. Nine minutes into the game. Surprisingly enough, nothing's actually happened. S4 in trouble. No blink for eight seconds. They can't chase him down. They don't have the long range raise. They won't be able to get the return kill. Lots of rotations for essentially nothing. Even Arrow walks up towards that top lane and they won't find a single. I want to focus down this tier one tower. And Bulldog is the only one in the way. They're even going to Dream Crawl. I mean, he just gets caught out of position. He's a little too close to that river and he'll stay alive for half a moment. But Aki will come and throw up the cascade. It won't even bounce and the waning roof comes out. There's the unstable concoction. Minus is up there as well. They pop the mech. Now, the Death Ward going through, Ake getting it off fully, but gets cancelled in the end, now Ake getting run down. There's the Frostbite, double kill for Sealkin, Aaron goes in with the Omni Slash, can they get Loda? No chemical rage, he stays alive with his stick charge, they're diving the tier 3 tower, we've seen this before. S4, the sole survivor for Alliance, and IP will back up, the healing ward is up, and S4, without that Sonic Wave, he can't get a kill with the exception of Jonas and Fan, who's already done his job here, Blitz, they take 4. That's actually all he has to do, is he initiates, and the fact that he does it without a blink deck, that's absurd from the puck. He threw up so much of the attention for the Lions. The Witch Doctor dropped Blink in. They might lose Ake because of this. Blimp's got to come through. The Axes will fly as well. And it's a close range uh, raise. It's not going to do much there to bring down Ake. But Minus will be, I think, the sacrificial lamb in this situation. Gets the multicast off. They'll get the tier 2 tower top lane. Now another Orchid coming out on Seal Kid. S4 is doing so much work. But there's the mech in perfect timing. They actually get the roar off. Now the Omni Slash. Loda gets blown up. He TP's into trouble. Gets frostbitten. And Eric just goes to work with the R button press, and now they'll get another tier 2 tower more than likely. Yeah, that's for, er, Loda actually had no idea that Arrow was going to be in that top area, uh, and it looks like a misplay, but I think it's more just that Loda had no idea. He's like, if Arrow was going to be there, he would have been there like 30 seconds ago helping his team out, and he just wasn't. Uh, unfortunately for them, he was taking that top tower, which he does get, and at the same time, they make that pin. This is a pivotal point. If Alliance can take this fight and turn it around, suddenly they might be back into the game. They don't spot Lodo, the waiting rift. It was a guess. He guessed he didn't have vision, but there's the Omni Slash. But it's only on Minus, and it actually goes to the creeps, the Necro Warriors. Blade Fury, now he gets roared up as well. He still has Ernie mid Tom? style. He needs to get that heal. They pop the mech off. Requiem will go. Limp in trouble. Blink away from S4 at a beautiful time. Oh, the dead. Death Ward. Limp is in trouble. He'll fall. They can't take the Rex. They have to back now. Or will they? They're gonna jump in. No Dream Crawl. No, they have it. They even silence up S4. Ake's low, but they won't bring him down just yet. The Orchid came out of Dionis, and he couldn't get that Dream Coil off. Seal Kid gets so ripped up. They want to chase this. The Axes, they do hit on Yonis. The phase shift was not there, and they do grab the kill. They're gonna grab one. They're gonna grab two. Fresh four gets the double. They turn it around. Big defense coming out of the side of Alliance. I mean, S4 Dota, the fact that they were that far behind, a 2,000 gold net worth, you just hope that Bulldog can't take this as quickly. And he's doing a lot of damage to that tower right now. Bulldog going to work with the racks down bottom in trouble as well. They've got the glyph. They might have to use it soon. Bulldog and meanwhile top. Tier 3 tower almost done. The glyph will come out. And IP have already used their glyph as well. There's the glimmer cape. They can't quite go for this. Era's Sonic dead? Wave era in trouble. Doesn't have the all oh, agent. The but the Omni Slash and now S4 might be forced to buy back. Jump in. There's the Dream Coral. Lotus got his chemical rage. He's healing up as fast as he can. Minus about to fall. The last couple of right clicks. Lotus staying alive but just barely. And there it is. Lift getting the double kill. And the Alpha will have to buy back with no chemical rage. S4, does he have his BKB? No. His Orchid is up, but they've lost their racks. But the trade top lane, Bulldog going to work, getting it done. Nobody TP back yet. There's the Requiem, doesn't hit on anybody. They need to TP home, but it's too late. It's a racks for a racks. You could say that NIP won the fight. They forced out the buybacks, but Bulldog, the rat that he is again. How many times have we freaking seen this? Once again, he gets it done. I'm going to say this as a compliment, even though it doesn't sound like it. Bulldog might be the most annoying player in competitive Dota to yep. play against. Yep. I mean that just like with utmost respect. It just it's such a hassle to deal with him as a player because he's constantly doing stuff like this to you. Like you're losing a team fight. You know they've got an Aegis. It's, he's like whatever. We're not gonna win this fight. And I think he made the correct decision there. Like, even if he was down there, they were gonna get destroyed in that fight. So you might as well just go for the equal trade. It costs NIP so much. Lions doesn't know. Bulldog is about to get the roar off and limp. He's gonna blink away. They decide, okay, maybe it's not worth it now. They'll find Ake. Do they find Bulldog? There's the Omni Slash, but he's got his Necro Summons. And Admiral Bulldog getting slowed down. They'll finally lose him. He's no buyback. 
John Ford, S4, gonna try to cut the creep wave, maybe there's the Yules up, they're gonna find Minus as well on top of it, and he should have Minus available, they won't even, will they dive him, they're gonna go for it, jump in with the Blink deck, the Illusor back out, jaunts away from Jonas and Fan, and Arrow will pick up that kill, he'll have to buy back to tier 3 tower, they're cutting the creep wave with S4, it's not quite coming just yet, and there's no creep wave coming through mid either, backdoor protection's gonna kick in pretty soon, but can they get the Nailer Rax in time? They're gonna grab it, it looks. They still have that one range creep in the back line. That's doing the work. Stay alive, Lemmer buddy. Creep. Lemmer in trouble. Force forward. S4 looking for it. Blinks away in the end, and they're gonna lose a second set of racks. Great wraparound smoke from NIP, and they are still in this series. They want to force this to a game three. And it looks like with that with that racks going down, it might just happen. I think that Shadow Fiend is just about to lose the Aegis, but the fact that they were able to get that wraparound, Alliance probably thought to themselves, let's just get one kill, like force the Aegis out so they think about going for the high ground. And then a lot NIP were just two steps ahead of them. They're just like, we're actually gonna go for our own counter smoke around. And they had no idea that that was gonna happen. Like Alliance probably thought to them to go for uh, these high ground pushes, but NIP are just gonna kind of circumvent the defense and go from around to make this as spread out and easy as possible for them. They've actually got Jonas and Fawn with an Aghanim Scepter now Here's too. Here's the Yules, they're gonna find the Beastmaster. Will they go for this? There's the Orca coming up, Mance is out of it. The Omni Slash Bulldog done, no buyback available. Sonic Wave on it too, doing some work for S4. The Death War fully unleashed, and the potential is there. They'll take down Seal Kid, but in trouble. Hanskin backing away. Here comes the Jug, S4 going down. Death for 86 seconds. Load again and kite it, he's just not that fast. They'll pop the Unstable Concoction and limp the right clicker at the range position, and now, Pops the man's up, but the Blade Fury will do just enough, it looks like. In the last right click, he was healing with the acid spray, but he will be forced to buy back. Minot's backing away, as well as S4, who just bought back into the game. They lose Seal Kid and nothing else, and somehow that Death Ward, it just doesn't do enough. The Sonic Wave, they did so much damage, wasn't quite there. Force forward, they were trying to take down S4, he gets silenced up as well, his BKB on cooled up for 26 seconds or 20 seconds. Satanic pop for limp, going to work. Loda trying to man mode, but he doesn't really have the damage. He's got so much magic damage with the Radiance for Doctrine Core, but Lint now in trouble. He's got the edge of the Soul Ramp. They might have to leave him out to dry. They'll defend their ranks again. Buybacks forced, but Alliance are not done yet. They're turning it around. Hans get in trouble. He's out of mana. There's the roar. Lint in trouble. Silence stuff, and they're gonna leave him behind. He's the martyr for the cause. They'll pop the BKB. The Wreck Room will go, but it's not gonna do nearly enough. Are they gonna try to turn this around? Here comes Zara. Limp's BKB wears off just You gotta as, get out, Era. Uh, There's Aira's no just, way that you're gonna be able to survive too much. this. S4 gets the double kill. He has to pop the drum charts. He's got one left in the tank. He has the hey, cheese. Guys. Unstable concoction could come soon. Bulldog, he's got blink, but no roar. Air will pick up an invis room. Do they have a gem? They should have some sort of detection. He should be safe. And they will defend their racks again, Blitz. One more time. <sighs> That's a huge item pickup, too. And But Alliance, feeling so confident, they're pushing now. They want to force out buybacks. They want to force the game into their hands. Both of the cores for NIP have the buybacks. Oh, the There's the force out. The Sonic Wave not going. Everybody caught with the Dream Crawl. The Freezing Field doing work. Bulldog will fall first. S4 in trouble. The Death War fully completed, fully going. But they have a huge, go uh, not Glimmer Cape, but rather the Crimson Guard going to work. Three dead. They turn around. No buyback coming up from Loda, who gets blown up. Arrow trying to chase down Ake. Cask is bouncing, there's the Illusion Rope jumping in, gets slowed up as well, the Zombies with the Death Plus and the right click, Air with the Scotty, they'll take four down, and this might be it, the GG, the game number three coming up here, if NIP could just bring this in and get these Mega Creeps. They've got buybacks on both their supports, but I don't think this is going to be enough. NIP with a beautifully executed fight. Jonas and Fawn just popped that Dream Coil in the middle of like five different heroes when they went for the push. There's a five-man coil, yeah. That's huge. And I alliance, they had to all commit for the Shadow Fiend because of that satanic BKB combination, but they were unable to do so. I don't think they're going to be able to hold Mega Creeps. No. Without Loda alive for 50 seconds, I think NIP actually can even decide to go further if they want. And they'll back away. They'll play, they'll make the smart play. Uh, the, the again, the game's not over till uh, the game is not over till it's over. But this is Mega Creeps, and there's very few situations when you're this far down, when you have no buybacks, when you're down almost 20k gold, that you'll be able to come back in this game. And it would, ha it would have to be a miracle. But they've pulled off miracles before. Alliance are going to posture themselves down in the bottom lane. Jonas and Fan is just going to blink in, try to get closer. They've cleaned up all the buildings down bottom. There's still a couple effigies and buildings and moon wells here and there for uh, the mid and top lanes. So they'll have to clean those up as well. But the tier 4 towers are exposed nonetheless.
So where do you go from here? I mean, you don't have buybacks. You lose one more team fight. I mean, I'm trying to make this okay for them. <laughs> no, Come I on, know dog. it's so hard. Uh, You're down Mega Creeps versus Alliance. What are you, what are you supposed so to do? Fun. What are you supposed to do? Alliance will hold on for dear life. They are so close. Just one game away, but so far because they have no racks. <laughs> They'll have a couple of Hawks scouting things out, but they're smoked up on the side. They're going to go for Lord of the Dream Crawl. Miles away. He's going to pop the Chemical Rage. He's going to break the four and a half seconds done. Now in process. Look at the right click. Limb going to work. There's going to be the Death Ward going through. There's no Agon of Scepter, but Ake getting blown up at the right click still. Death Ward doing work. Limb oh, Arrow blows the Satanic. Era oh, the cheese. away. The cheese popped just at the end of his lifespan, and S4 blinking away. No more Witch Doctor. No more Witch Doctor ulti. Bulldog barely survives, but now the base started to take some carnage here. Loda still alive. The Chemical Rage keeping him up and fighting. Maybe not the best Agatha Scepter Dream Crawl from Yonison fan, but they don't lose much. They lose the Seal Kid CM, and at this point, it's a glorified creep. Hanskin. Getting caught out. There's going to be the sounds coming through. They looked for the winning rip. They couldn't find it. There's the axes. S4. Does he have buyback? No, but Loda does. Loda pops the Chemical Rage. Eric going to work. Tier 4 tower in some trouble. Not dead yet. Still there. Force forward. Look at S4. Sour stuff, but not dead. Limp now. Gets Gloomer Kick. Pops the Satanic yet again. And will try to heal back up. But taking so much damage. He's got the Aegis. He's fine. First tier 4 now down. Alliance hanging out for dear life. S4 jumps back in. Great Yule's Ags. And of course, that Dream Crawl back up in 8 seconds. That's the biggest, most important facet of his fight, more than likely. But now Limp's just going to work. He's going to stun himself. Loda couldn't get it off. He'll have to buy back. But with no chemical rage, S4 pops the BKB. They're being corralled into the well. Look at this. The Ancient in dire straits. TP's coming in for the buyback. That seal kit with boots of travel. Loda gets caught out. Has to pop the Mantis style. BKB goes again. This time for Maki. They'll use, of course, the Dream Crow, but it's not nearly enough. The Death Ward goes. It's back. How is this down. fight still going on? Satanic once again. Oh my Staying God. alive, but no Aegis this time. The Rec Room will go. The Death Rec Room. Now no buyback just yet, but Yoda's and Fan will. Are they going to go all in? Aaron's gonna walk back. They will. They'll buy back. They're gonna get the uh, SF to TB back into the fray. Aaron's gonna just bounce out. What is going on right now? This is just too much. Uh, Yonis is and dead. I mean, they're throwing the game. They're throwing the game away. The ancient is taking damage, but they've not won yet. They buy back. They don't die. Luckily, on that core, that limp SF. All right, limp actually uses buyback. So now his buybacks on cooldown for the next five minutes. Uh, fortunately for them, Aaron still has one available, but still. I mean, NIP. Now this is a really tricky situation. Like, uh, Limp, I believe, not, uh, Limp. Jonas and Fun actually uses buyback too. So the only ones that you really have it available on are the Jug. So all, well, I say all, what Alliance should do now is push out that top lane and that bot. I say that, but the team fight has to go immaculately. I'll use that term for Alliance in order for them to keep this game even. Or, not even even, but. I mean, this, I'll, this is funny. an absurd. There's oh, the Limp doesn't have buyback. He can't afford to die! The Crimson Guard, did they get the Death Ward off? He's in trouble! Pop the Santana, he will go down the Rick Room, but look at Seal can pop him! Oh, look at the damage! The Omni Slash! Lord is going to work though, his attack speed is insane! Oh, what I the? can't believe it! They five man wiped him! Loda? They're all freaking dead! They're all Bimex! They can they oh, just go right down mid? Aki's already heading down there! <laughs> this freaking Witch Doctor! What's happening? Oh my god! It comes down to Era and Seal Kid right now. Seal Kid doesn't have his ult. Era doesn't have his ult. I mean, Loda's just playing goddamn whack a mole. He's just going to town. He's like, hit, 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 hit. All right, Seal Kid buys back, but that's like the least threatening thing in the entire world. What you have to do right now, Loda, push this bottom lane. He's go for the top already. push as well. Do this as fast as you possibly can. You have boots of travel available now. This is your best opportunity for a win. I mean, I can't even believe that Alliance is they, doing it. I don't know if right, NIP are going to be able to hold. They have to get through the glyph, they have to get through the tier 2, and they have to get through the tier but 3. But if you looked at how that last fight went, <laughs> he, how do you win? So you don't fast. have so on your shell. Look how quickly they kill this tower. Oh my god, they have to Alliance are actually going to win this They're game. They're going to win with Mega oh, they were down 20k. This doesn't, even, this doesn't make sense. Uh, this is actually over. straight into the base right now. The tier 3 getting assaulted. They're going to TP in with S4. The glyph will go. No, Loda's going to take this faster than the Shadow Fiend responds. They're going to win this game. They have to buy back an error. He's got to do something, and he's just not in the fray yet. He's oh got my to buy. God. They cannot resign their fate just yet. This game is now hanging in the balance of maybe error on the juggernaut, but it's just not enough. He's not even buying back. He's waiting. He's waiting and holding. The ancient now is close. There's the buyback. It comes oh no, almost this game's through. actually He's gonna done. Jump in. They're, gonna gonna it. They're gonna use the ultimate with seal kit. Oh my God! Out. Where's the Omni He can't, can't get up. It's not cool that for 13 seconds. No. Off the tombstone. No. Oh, no. It's gonna go. Oh my God. Thank you. 
take it! They take it! They win the Series 2-0 and they will move to the Majors! I can't believe it! They were down 20,000, they were down Mega Creeps, their Tier 4s were gone, and their Ancient was almost destroyed. And one team fight from an Alchemist. What a goddamn way to end the night, Blitz. Oh my god, holy shit. Uh...